Hi, and welcome to Read Me a Story. Today's book is by Denise Fleming, and the title is In the Tall, Tall Grass. As you follow along with each of the pages as I read through our book today, you'll notice that there is one single creature that will be noticeable on every page of the book. So pay attention as I read and look closely at the illustrations and maybe by the end you'll be able to tell us what you see on every single page throughout the story, okay? All right. starting to venture outside in the yard, we notice a lot of different changes, a lot of different insects and bugs and creatures out in the yard. Guess what? Outside, peeking through that tall, tall grass, you never know what you're going to see. So in the tall, tall grass, crunch, munch. Look at the caterpillars. They're having lunch. Dart and dip. The hummingbirds sit. Beautiful flowers. Strum and drum. The bees all hum. We hear them buzzing along. Buzz, 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 they go. Crack, snap. Wings. Oh, the wings are flapping. Wings flap. things all, all around, above ground and below. Slip and slide. The snakes all glide. Rich match. The moles down underneath the earth. some snacks, something to eat. Maybe it's their, their dinner. Oh, hip hop. Ears flop as the bunnies hop along in the tall, tall grass. Stop and go. The fireflies, they all glow. At nighttime when it's real dark outside, you see them as they light up the sky. Lunge and loop. The bats all swoop. As it gets darker at the end of the day, the bats are up in the sky. Stars bright. Moonlight. Good night, tall, tall grass. It's just some of the things that we see throughout the day into the night, out in the yard or in a meadow. Them are considered insects. Some of our, another word for insects is bugs. Sometimes they fly because they have wings like a butterfly or the bumblebees that buzz. So today we're going to take our hands and put them out in front of us. Bring our thumbs in and our fingers over them. Okay. So we're going to start by turning our hands over one at a time. There's a little beehive, but where are the bees? Are they all hiding where nobody sees? Slowly they come creeping out of the hive. Help me count. I need help. One, two, three, four, and five. And zzz, around they go to all the flowers. So let's try it again. This time with both hands, and we're going to count to ten because we have ten fingers. So ready? Hands out. Thumbs in. Cover them. Turn them over. Ready? <clears throat> Here are the little 
little beehives, but where are the bees? Are they all hiding where nobody sees? Slowly they come creeping out of their hive. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Ten bees all flying all around to all those beautiful flowers in the garden. Awesome. Very good. Well, look at the board today. Actually, I put some of our friends on the board. They're joining us today. It might be some of the things, actually, that we saw in our story today. Well, we didn't see a ladybug, but we did see insect. And we saw a frog. We have our blue frog up here. And a turtle. We didn't see a turtle in our story today, but the turtles probably would live maybe in the tall, tall grass around a pond or a lake. So we'll put him back up there. So now for the letters on my board. I have one, two, three, four, five, and six letters. Good counting, very good. Now do you know what letters they are? Okay, ready? The first letter is I. Second one, can you guess what it is? N. S. Looks like a snake who's slipping and sliding and gliding in her book. The next letter is E. The next letter is the letter C. And the last letter, straight with a line across, the letter T. And these letters that I put on a diagonal today spell out the word insect, which also means bug. So next time you're out in the yard, you might start to see some different insects around, whether it's an ant on the ground, or maybe a caterpillar is going to be around, or you might see a ladybug. So let's get our hands ready. How about our itsy bitsy spider today? Ready? The itsy bitsy spider went up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider up. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain. The itsy bitsy spider went up the spout again. He didn't give up at all. He just wanted to keep going. Okay, let's put our hands out in front of us. They're going to face up to the ceiling. Ready? Open them, shut them. Open them, shut them. Give a little clap. Open them, shut them. Open them, shut them. And put them in your Creep them, creep them up to your chin. Open your mouth wide. <gasps> Close that mouth fast. Don't let those fingers in. Open them, shut them. Open them, shut them. Give a little clap. Open them, shut them. Open them, shut them. And put them in your lap. Very good. If you remember in our story, there was a bird on one page, and his wings were going to flap. I don't have a lot of space here, but you can stand up and you can put your arms out as if you're a bird who's flying. So here's our next little rhyme. It's about the birds up in their nest. Ready? Up in the sky, the baby birds fly. And down in their nest, we're going to put our hands together, cup them like this. Down in their nest, the baby birds rest. With a wing on the left and a wing on the right, the tired baby birds, they sleep all night. So we try it again. Ready? Get those wings, those arms ready to be your wings. They're going to flap. Ready? Way up in the sky, the baby birds fly. Down in their nest, the baby birds rest. With a wing on the left and a wing on the right, the tired baby birds, they sleep all night. Awesome. Good job. Very good. Okay, why don't we ready to clap our hands? Ready? Okay. I like to clap my hands. One, two, three. I like to clap my hands. One, two, three. Clap them high, way up in the sky. Clap them low. Clap them fast, as fast as you can. And clap them slow. I like to clap my hands. One, two, three. I like to clap my hands. One, two, three. Very good. Put our thumbs. Let's put our thumbs up today. Ready? Tum
Tommy thumbs up. And Tommy thumbs down. Tommy thumbs dances all around. Dancing on your shoulders, find those shoulders. Dancing on my head. Dancing on your knees, find your knees. Now cover him up and put him into bed. He's sound asleep. Uh-oh. <gasps> Bing -ba ding <gasps> Tommy thumbs is up. Tommy thumbs is down. Tommy thumbs dances all around. Dancing on her shoulders. <clears throat> Dancing on your head. Dancing on your knees. <gasps> Join us next time. Take care. Bye.